The blows keep coming for the Sydney Swans with Lance Franklin ruled out for at least this weekend's AFL clash with Geelong. Franklin has been quietly battling a bruised heel for the past month but coach John Longmire revealed on Tuesday the star forward had aggravated the injury during Friday's 10-point home loss to Adelaide. Key midfielder Dan Hanbury will also miss Saturday's game at Cardinia Park with a strained groin and a huge setback for the club's hopes of turning around their form slump. Longmire said Franklin sustained his injury against West Coast in round one and added it would be a reasonable conclusion to assume the controversially hard surface at Optus Stadium played a part. We had probably the most amount of players cramp in that game is what we've had, Longmire said. He, Franklin, hasn't done any training of any substance since then. We've been trying to get him better week by week and hoping he'd get to a point where he was not only getting through games better but do some training, but the heel hasn't responded and got worse on the weekend, so he won't be playing this week and we're not sure after that how it'll respond, Longmire admitted Franklin's absence could extend beyond the away game at the Cats, we're not putting a time frame on it at the moment, he said, bruised heels are two things, they're really painful and hard to get a guide on how long it takes to come back, the Swans' reliance on Franklin again came under the microscope over the weekend after an undermanned Crows side sent them hurtling out of the top eight. The 31-year-old was limited to one goal at the SCG despite having scored 17 in the first four rounds to lead the Coleman medal race. Hanbury was one cog of a poor collective performance from the club's highly rated midfield, with captain Josh Kennedy and Luke Parker also very limited in possession. But Longmire refuted suggestions it might be time to give more youngsters a chance in the middle, we have to put it in some sort of context and understand that the evolution of our midfield group is always ongoing, he said, it's certainly been evolving over the last 12 months in a significant way as far as number of players who have been going through that midfield group.